Sheriff John Bennell. Officers know that catching lawbreakers requires casting a wide net from our waterways to our highways and even our skies above. Cops have to cover every avenue, knowing it's only a matter of time before criminals come calling. Mobile County, Alabama. We're going back. Officers charge after William Odell Wood, a man who just shot his ex-wife and murdered three members of her family. Now, cops want to stop him before he adds to the body count. A unit with two deputies races to the front. They know that ending this pursuit could require both a wheel man and a trigger man. Suddenly, the pair spots the maniac making a move. It might be the last thing they ever see. With a high-powered rifle, Wood blows out his rear window. Spraying lead across the crowded highway. The officers scramble for a direct line to the renegade. But apparently, this killer doesn't care who might get slaughtered. 70 miles an hour, the perp shoots wildly backwards, sending bullets scorching past the squad car. But then, a deputy sees an opening and decides to return fire through his windshield, scattering empty casings inside the cruiser. Wood peppers the cop car with artillery, hell-bent on a deadly finale. But in the exchange, he gets hit and abandons the steering wheel. The officers can't tell if he's plotting another attack. So they punch him to a halt and prepare for a gun battle. They take position behind a unit and put him in the crosshairs, only to find that their deadly opponent has been fatally wounded. This killer's ballistic temper sent him into a tailspin where he couldn't shoot his way out. And trying to make a cop his next victim, only got himself bumped off.